Okay, we're doing some practice in section 3.1, graphing using the rectangular coordinate system starts on page 96 of your book. So the first question says plot and label the following points. So these are ordered pairs. They refer to points on the rectangular coordinate system. So we're going to plot them. We're going to remember that the first coordinate is the x coordinate and refers to the left or right movement. The second coordinate is the y coordinate and refers to vertical movement. So this first point, 0, 0, is of course right in the middle and that's the origin. So we're going to plot a point there and you know what, we're going to give these some letters. This will be point A. So we'll label this as point A. And point B will be at the coordinate 1, 2. So first 1 on X and then 2 on Y. So this will be point B right here and we'll label it B. Point C will be the point 2, negative 4. So first 2 on the X, then negative 4 on Y. So this will be point C. And we're just going to go through and do point D, negative 3, negative 3. So negative 3, negative 3. That would be right there. That's D. And E is negative 4, 5.5, or 5.5, which is halfway between 5 and 6. So first, negative 4, then up 5. Here's 5 and 6, so 5.5 5. 5 will be right there in the middle. Right there. And that will be point E. Point F is 0, negative 5. If I can get that to write. All right. 0 first means we're not going to move right or left. We're going to stay right here at 0. And then we're going to go to negative 5. And that will be right there on the y-axis. That will be point F. Point G will be 1, 0. So first positive 1. And then 0 means we're not moving up or down. So that will be point G right there. Point H will be 6, 0. So first 6 and then 0 again. It's right on the x-axis. So this is point H. And point I is negative 4.5, 0. So first negative 4.5, so that's negative 4.5 right here, and 0 says we don't move up or down, so that would be right here. So that's point I. Okay, question 2 says, review the table and examine the relationship. Fill in the missing values and plot the points. So this was similar to the, uh, the water and the gallons question we did in the lesson. So we have years, 2000, 2001, 2003, 2005. So there's a year missing here, which seems like it should obviously be 2002. So that's what we'll do. We'll fill in the year 2002 here. And down here, looks like we're missing 2006. Okay. Now the prices of video games, 60, 50, there's a space here, 30, 10. So what's the relationship here? It looks like we're missing a year here too. We're missing 2004, aren't we? So maybe instead of, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Can we figure out the relationship in 2060? In 2150. So there's a relationship of minus 10 here. So 2002 should be 40. 2003 is 30. 2004 would be 20. 2005 is 10. So 2006 follows should be 0. And we're going to put that information over here. Label the axis and label the scales. So if 
this axis, the x-axis, will probably be years. Well, there we go, years. And the y-axis will be price. I'm just going to use a dollar sign to indicate price. So we have years starting at 2000. So let's label these 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004. Okay, and the price of the video games, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Let's see, in the year 2000, the price of the video game was 60. So we'll follow this 2000 up and we'll make a point up here at 60, which would be right here. And then 2001 will have a point at 50. 2002 will have a point at 40. 2003 has a point at 30. We didn't put 2004 on our chart, but it would be what? 20. So there we go. Okay, we're going to examine the graph and answer the following questions. So here we have the average temperature in Florida, January through December, and here they're plotted. So starting at zero degrees, going up to 90 degrees. So what are the questions here? What is the average temperature in Florida in January? So we're going to go to January. This is the tick mark right here for January. It's behind it. And we're going to follow it up. So right there in the middle of the ticks is January. The average temperature is about 60. So we're going to put 60 on here. I'm assuming these are degrees Fahrenheit, even though the graph doesn't say. The average temperature in February, right here between the tick marks, it's more than 60, so maybe we'll say uh, 62. What is the average temperature in Florida in October? So again, we're going to follow October up, and that would be right here. It looks about exactly in the middle of 70 and 80, so we'll say 75. Sometimes when you're reading these kinds of graphs, because the scales are not as detailed as they could be, um, when the, the, the points are between the lines like this, you have to estimate, and it's okay if you estimate sometimes. All right, what month has the lowest average temperature in Florida and what is that temperature? So, of course, the lowest average temperature would be the lowest point of the graph. This is not quite the lowest because it doesn't hit that line, and this one's above line. I, I would say this is the lowest. It actually hits the 60-degree line, and that would be January. So we'll say January, and that temperature is 60. So let's see, what's this question down here? What month has the highest average temperature in Florida, and what is that temperature? So the highest point of the graph is right here, and that lines up with the month of August, and the temperature is, it's above 80, I would say. It's about 83. So that would be August, and that's 83 degrees. When is the average temperature 80 degrees? So here we're going to look for the 80 degrees, and we're going to follow this over. And it looks like um, here, this month, which is June, and this month, which is September, both hit an average temperature of 80 degrees. So we'll say June and September.